हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट इज द ग्रुप डिले एंड द मोड डिले फैक्टर बोथ ऑफ देम आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो वेरी केयरफुली सो बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इट इज़ हाईली रिकमेंडेड दैट यू गो बैक वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑन द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन प्ले लिस्ट एंड देन कम टू दिस वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट आर डिस्कशन ऑन द ग्रुप डीले फैक्टर सो वॉट इज ग्रुप डीले सो ग्रुप डीले इज रिलेटेड टू द ट्रांजिशन टाइम राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज द ग्रुप डीले वी आर गोइंग टू सी इट्स डेरीवेशन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ इट इज रिलेटेड टू द मोर डीले फैक्टर right so the group delay as i told you it is related to the group velocity and it is related to the transit time of the light pulse inside the optical fiber so it is going to tell me how much delay the optical pulse is having when it is transiting one effective length or the unit length inside the fiber so i can say group delay it is the transit time the light pulse is taking some time to transit from one point to another point which are at unit distance from each other so the transit time or the group delay is tau g so both of them are same thing transit time or group delay is related to the group velocity as the inverse of the group velocity so i can say transit time or the group delay for the light pulse which is propagating along a unit length of the fiber is inverse of the group velocity right so how i can represent tau g so group delay tau g can be represented as 1 upon vg we know vg is d omega upon d beta now beta is a propagation constant for the given medium now we have one more term that is k and the k is the propagation constant of the vacuum so whenever i want to represent the group delay in the terms of beta and k i will be representing it as 1 upon c d beta upon dk right so this is how i can define the group delay so tau g will be equal to 1 upon c d beta upon dk right so i will be using this definition to derive the value of tau g so now the group index so group index is for a homogeneous medium of a uniform plane wave so group index is represented by ng it is a number right so ng can be represented as c upon vg right so what whatever group velocity we are having i am dividing it by c so what was tau g group delay was 1 upon vg now group index is c upon vg so now how i can relate tau g and ng so ng would be equal to c into tau g right so this is how i can relate the group index and the group velocity group delay so this is how the group index and group delay are related to each other with respect to c c is the speed of the light in the vacuum so now the effective group index so effective group index is found out for the single mode fiber so it is equal to nge and it will be equal to c upon vg so now the single mode fiber will be having the group index c upon vg which was equal to ng only so i can represent the group index as the effective group index when i am working with the single mode fiber now the group delay of the fundamental fiber mode will be equal to ng upon c so i gave this representation now if i want to find out tau g from here group delay from here i will be taking c at the denominator here so tau g would be nge upon c that is right yes so i am using this relation i am finding out the group delay so now here nge can be represented with the help of effective refractive index as well i hope you all have watched the previous video where i talked about the effective refractive index so nge will be equal to effective refractive index minus lambda d and effective upon d lambda right 
now i can represent the beta also beta can be represented in the terms of k and it will be equal to k n1 square minus n2 square b plus n2 square right so now here it is represented in the terms of n1 square and n2 square right now i can represent it in the terms of numerical aperture as well as i can represent it in the terms of relative refractive index so now here i have represented my beta as k and 2 1 plus b delta now delta is my relative refractive index so now here i have approximated beta now i am considering my delta to be very less than 1 and when delta is very less than 1 the ref relative refractive index is very less than when i gave you this formula the delta will be approximated as n1 minus n2 upon n2 right otherwise it was equal to n1 square minus n2 square upon 2 n2 square right so here i have approximated the delta and i will be using the approximated equation so it would be equal to n1 minus n2 upon n2 so i can represent it equal to ng1 minus ng2 upon ng2 now ng1 is representing And G1 is representing the group index of the core and G2 is representing the group index of the cladding. So this is how I have approximated my relative refractive index, right? So now in this equation, so now I am using again this equation, I know the value of beta. So I have used this equation for beta where I have put delta to be equal to ng1 minus ng2 upon ng2. So now when I use this equation, you can use this equation, you can derive the beta with respect to dk and you can find out this equation for the group delay. So group delay will be equal to 1 upon c ng2 plus ng1 minus ng2 dvb upon dv. Right, this is how I can find out the group delay. So this is a very important formula to find out the group delay. So now again, I can find out the group delay and I can have some approximations with respect to delta. So now, in with respect to relative refractive index, how I can represent the group delay? As 1 upon C and G2 plus N2 into delta dVB upon dV, right? So here ng1 minus ng2 will be equal to ng2 into delta so it was delta now here when ng2 is multiplied with delta or i can say n2 is multiplied with the delta i will be getting this term so now i am replacing this term with n2 into delta and this is how i will be getting tau g the group delay so now here i will be getting the first term which is showing me the dependence of the group delay on the wavelength so here my group delay is dependent upon the wavelength of the light that i am using when a uniform plane wave is propagating in an infinitely extended medium now the medium is very extended and now refractive index is equivalent to the fiber cladding now more delay factor will be given by this second term that is dvb by dv so now what is more delay factor showing me it is denoting the change in the group delay so the change the group delay is having by the changing the power between the fiber core and the cladding now whenever i change the power between the core and cladding I will be having some change in the group delay which means the light pulse is propagating in the unit distance inside the fiber it is changing whenever I am changing the power in core and the cladding and it is denoting my mode delay factor how much delay in the mode I will be having right how much group delay changes I will be having if I am changing the power inside the fiber core and the power inside the cladding so I hope you understood each one of these things I have skipped some steps over here you can directly remember this equation for your exam point of view and otherwise if you want to put it here you want to find out the results you can do that as well so if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible 
I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and give me your feedback. Thank you so much.